Edgar Wright's latest film, Baby Driver, is rolling into theaters. How's that for a slice of fried gold? I've got the review right here on Screen Junkies News. Is he uh, mental? Mental meaning slow. Was he slow? No. He had an accident when he was a kid. Still has a hum in the drum. Plays music to drown it out. And that's what makes him the best. Hello, I'm Dan Merle. I'm here with your review of Baby Driver. And I want to make a disclaimer right off the bat. If you know me, if you've seen me on any other show here on Screen Junkies, you know that I am a huge fan of Edgar Wright's. I count Shaun of the Dead as one of my favorite, if not my favorite movie of all time. Of course, I was heavily anticipating the release of Baby Driver, particularly after everything that happened with Ant-Man and really thirsting for some original Edgar Wright uh, vision. And this is what this movie is more than anything. I felt like this was the most pure, uncut Edgar Wright that we've ever seen on film. Ansel Elgort stars as a getaway driver named, you guessed it, Baby, who helps Kevin Spacey's criminal organization pull off all kinds of bank heists and armed robberies. Pretty much anything involving Edgar Wright's colorful cartel of criminals that includes Jamie Foxx and John Hamm and really anybody who wanted to show up for a few days and have some fun on the set. Now, the storyline is where I think this movie is the weakest. I think that this is probably Edgar Wright's most underwritten movie in the sense that this is all about the style. This is all about Edgar Wright's skill as a technical filmmaker. And when you look at it from that perspective, I think this is one of the most unique and meticulously crafted movies I've ever seen. Now, Edgar Wright has always been a very dense filmmaker. He's been a filmmaker who packs every frame of every movie he's made with background jokes, small details, little things that you're not going to notice until the second, third, fourth time that you watch the movie. And Baby Driver is packed so tight with these things that I think you could watch this movie a dozen times and catch something new every time. Baby Driver features an almost wall-to-wall -wall soundtrack handpicked and curated by Edgar Wright himself. It's almost Martin Scorsese-like the way that this movie uses music. And it's justified by the fact that Baby suffers from tinnitus, meaning that he wears headphones in his ears almost constantly to drown out the ringing. Now, when I mention that I think the biggest flaw that this movie has is that it's underwritten, it's only because Edgar Wright chooses to spend so much of the time in this movie exploring how his visuals can really be in complete choreography with the music that he's chosen. That's why I call it almost an experimental movie. And as a piece of technical filmmaking, as the kind of masterpiece work from a, from a master craftsman like Edgar Wright, this is really an intricately detailed, plotted, and executed movie. I think that from a film school and a technical perspective, this is a film that you can completely just dissect and pick apart and find little things and find a lot of brilliance in scene by scene, moment by moment. I think that the, the action sequences, the driving sequences, the robbery sequences in this movie stand up with the best that this genre has had to offer. And I think it's really, really, really a unique vision from Edgar Wright. So I can't, I do have to detract a little bit from the script, but I also can't ignore the brilliance of the visual storytelling that's happening with this film. As, as a former editor and sometimes still editor myself, I was jealous of the stuff that he was able to do in this movie because I do think it is Edgar Wright at his best as a technical filmmaker, as really a craftsman at cinema. I think that the movie is incredibly well cast. Everybody in the movie does a great job. John Hamm particularly was a standout for me. Jamie Foxx was having a lot of fun with the role that he was given. Kevin Spacey obviously showed up for a few days and had a blast. And I think Ansel Elgort is kind of developing as a leading man who could take over as he gets older and kind of ages into a lot of leading man parts and be a force to be reckoned with in Hollywood. This is a technical movie making masterclass from Edgar Wright and it's another step in a filmography that I hope as it advances will move him out of being seen from so many people as a niche filmmaker and being recognized as one of the most inventive, unique directors that are working in Hollywood today. This is one of the bigger releases. I feel like there's a lot of publicity and promotion behind this movie. And I hope that audiences find this movie and connect to it and really say, hey, I want to see more from this guy because Edgar Wright continues to be one of the best directors working in Hollywood today. Baby Driver is definitely a recommendation for me. It opens in theaters on June 28th. Go check it out. Thanks for watching Screen Junkies News. You can click, select, tap, whatever you want. The box is on screen to watch even more Screen Junkies News. And don't forget to click the logo to subscribe.